actually been over this way. Lots of hay. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. How many times do we have to turn off the breaker before he stays out to try to make sure it works? <sighs> I don't know. God damn it, I don't know what to do. Hey, let's go talk to Brenda up here. What's on your mind, Lane? So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Hmm. Let's go talk to this bitch. Hello. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on the dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Uh, we'll go back to the barn. I don't know. <sighs> oh. hmm. Let me try to think of what we need to do here.
Uh. Hmm. I think uh, as soon as we figure out what to do, we might go ahead and just end off. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. No, how do I distract Andy? Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I've looked outside the barn. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. How are the kids? They're doing okay. The St. John's have been very friendly to them. But if something happens and you've got to choose between the kids or them, don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Gotcha. Andy will be back any minute. Please hurry. do this. False alarm. I'm back. Damn it. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Danny needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. God damn it. I don't know do what to like do. Cow, Clint? She's pretty. You guys having fun? Uh-huh. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. Fuck. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. All right, let's try messing with the generators again, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Ugh. Man. I just want this part to be over with. I don't like the farm this farm. safe, but I guess that's the point. I, I don't know. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm yeah, I'm kind of perplexed. It's like, see, see, like, if you could cut the cord, you'd have to shut off the generator first. Yeah. But he'd come back. Turn it on again. Power switch.
I don't know. If someone wants to look it up for me, that would be pretty dank. Because <laughs> uh, I'm totally lost here. I am totally lost. Ugh. I don't know what else to do with those damn generators. Maybe Kenny's got an idea. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. Eric, I look in the team speak chat. Unscrew the panel on the generator and remove the belt. Okay. All right. Let's see if that works. Unscrew the panel on the generator and remove the belt. All right. Let's take a look. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. Clueless about this stuff. Look at the generator. Ah. I guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. We got one right here. There you go. All right. Ow! Damn it! Thing is moving fast. I hope if I turned it off first. That thing is all too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Alright, here he comes. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Oh, son of a fuck. Fuck! Thank you, Yuka Patama Tamada. Now we can get into the barn, and we can go ahead and get uh, that door unlocked. All right, now we can get the door. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Wait, so we have to go without food? God damn it. I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idiot brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Hmm. 
<laughs> Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. We're not going to the bathroom. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to go check on Mark. Fuck that. And slow, nice and creeping, nice and creeping, creeping up the stairs. All right, let's uh, what the hell? What the fuck? Anything I could take? In here? No? Alright. Fuck is this shit? I knew there was something suspicious about them. Mark. Lee. Mark. What the hell happened? Uh, uh, brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> Clementine. Oh no, no, we can't let Clementine. We can't let Clementine eat. something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had to start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's what crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. 
What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! You don't touch my Clementine! Oh shit! We got knocked flat out on our ass. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep <sighs> oh here. shit! Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hands. We gotta find another way out of here. <laughs> Yo, shit, <laughs> fucking bastards! <laughs> Open this door, goddammit! <laughs> I will knock the we goddamn God door stop. down! It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm scared I'm too. This way out of here. I don't like this. You're, you're worse than the walker, Dad. Please. Hmm. Please. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, 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 Easy. Uh, oh God. Dad. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back! Lee! Good morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. Oh, God. God. I you. Please help me! <sighs> oh, we're gonna go with Kenny. Get this you over. fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> Get off me! Don't do this! No, no, no! no. Come on, oh, Lily! Come on, Lily, honey. No. Too much what? salt will kill you. Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> I know, I know. 
but you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. God damn it. Maria, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. I know you hate Kenny. Me too. But he did what he had to, so we can all go on living. For what? He's got his family. And you've got Clementine. I've got nothing. You left me with nothing. He was dead, bitch! He was gonna come back and eat us! Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. <sighs> you, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she probably side with the St. John's against us. Alright. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. A coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Hmm. It's not coming off that way. Get away. I just need to... I told you to get the fuck away! Bitch, he has a coin. We need the coin. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Damn. Do what you have to do. <sighs> God damn. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture. I guess we're just gonna have to choose. Uh, let's, let's let's go with this one. Marie. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Two quarters and a dime to get this thing off. Alright, so let's get these screws removed. No, I meant to hit the quarter. That way. Use the coin. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. There we go. Me. 
Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Be careful, Clementine. I'm scared. Be careful, Clementine! That's where we're going to end off, guys. So, I will see you guys next time. Alright. So, remember, be good, stay safe, but always have fun, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.